Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick look at your forecast into the rest of what's left of the holiday weekend. And as we go into later on tonight, looking at some much colder weather heading our direction as we get up and get back to work and school. Apologies for the delays. Had some minor technical issues going on, so we're on a few minutes later than usual, but still the same information coming your way here in just a little bit. If you got any weather reports from out there, guessing you've got a lot of wind across the Mid-South for right now, so drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section. We'd love to see more about what's going on out there in and around the Mid-South or from wherever you happen to be checking in from. A lot of winter weather north of us, a lot of travel snarls out there. We'll take a look at road conditions and the airport delays out there tonight. Hopefully, again, slowly going away, but it is going to be a very hectic evening for travel as a lot of travel plans out there at the airports are back up and a lot of problems with slowdowns into and around the area for right now. Marsha Howie Mountie, hope I'm saying that right, raining in Corinth. Welcome to the show and thanks to everybody else out there for checking in. Greg Lester from Horn Lake, very windy at this time. Heavy wind in Greenville, Mississippi. Kiana Willis, thank you very much. If you've never tuned in here before, welcome to the show. Thanks for stopping on by on a Sunday night. Can't stay for the whole thing. That's cool. Red bar at the bottom of your screen. Check out the forecast or again, go to this website website for more on your complete 7 to 10 day forecast, which is going to have some pretty big changes coming up in the next couple of days. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. 64, the high temperature today, another very above average day in the Mid-South. Not going to be that way tomorrow as we see some much colder weather heading our direction. 49 low average at this time of the year is about 40 degrees. Still well ahead for the year on rainfall. Only managed a fraction of an inch for today. And we're doing pretty good on that. Again, pretty typical for the month of November. And going to be picking up more rainfall as we leave the month coming up later on into this evening. So looking again at some pretty quiet conditions overall this week. But hope you like some changes in your temperature because that's what you're going to be getting out out there throughout the rest of the evening. Kind of a little wibbly-wobbly on the camera display for tonight from Memphis International Airport. You're going to see the camera shaking back and forth, and that's due again to those winds out there from 240 and Airways looking back toward Memphis International for this evening. Now again, good news for the Mid-South. We're not seeing anything in the way of major problems showing up here in the Mid-South area. Fly Memphis on Twitter no delays to report. Partly cloudy, very breezy winds out there, but no delays at this time. And things looking a little bit better across the continental United States, but still some problems out there for tonight with major delays taking place in some areas. We'll take a look at that again coming up later on this evening. Or again, if you'd like to know more about what's going on out there, check out my social media pages for more details. Currently, traffic on I-40 between Witten, Appling, and Germantown Road is moving along quite nicely. Had a multi Multiple vehicle accident just between Appling and Germantown Road earlier tonight. Traffic was backed up to about Sycamore View in the eastbound lanes. Everything back to normal at this point in time, so we are looking at some pretty good traveling conditions out there now that the rain is starting to leave the Mid-South area. What's left of those showers from the Metro not showing up on Storm Tracker 3S radar and for all intents and purposes, the rain is done for the Mid-South for tonight and just rainfall. But if you're traveling east of Jackson toward the Tennessee River, heading toward Nashville in the next couple hours, you may be chasing that rain from the west heading back toward the east. No severe weather. Nothing in the way of frozen precipitation, but it will be, again, some spotty speckles of rain out there for right now. The main energy of the storm system is passing as well to our north. Notice that great big swirl of energy right there as that storm system heads up into the southern Great Lakes. This is the storm system that gave California the very nice rain showers just a couple of days ago. Now we've got it, and the colder air wrapping around the backside of that system is going to be moving into the Mid-South throughout the rest of the evening. Very breezy winds behind this cold front making its way into the area, which is why, again, back to the north of us, we still have numerous warnings taking place from Chicago down to almost east of Kansas City. Got some blizzard warnings taking place here. Winter weather advisories, a little bit less expected in these locations in the purple for, again, a variety of different types of winter weather. And then a winter storm warning in the blue back up to the east of portions of Des Moines around just to the west of Chicago tonight. So still some dicey travel 
anywhere along and north of I-70 for the most part. Some snarls out there. MoDOT urging no travel on I-70 around Columbia tonight. So if you're heading up that direction, check the roads and make certain you have an alternate plan, as in hotel, friend's house to stay at, or some sort of shelter you can get to. And always remember to fill up that gas tank as much as you can, just in case you get stranded out there. Now, here in the Mid-South, National Weather Service extended the wind advisory for most of the area, so we are seeing, again, some breezy conditions out there throughout the rest of the evening. Shelby County not included in this. North Mississippi, southeast Arkansas also not included in this, but for northeast Arkansas, northwest Tennessee, some pretty breezy winds out there, over 40 miles per hour possible in parts of the area, and that's exactly what we're getting right now. WeatherNet 3 showing the temperatures and the wind speeds, which have been topping 40 miles per hour in parts of the area, including 43 at the airport in Dyersburg and at Memphis International Airport. So if we've got some very breezy conditions out there, going to be kind of choppy on the roadway, so please make certain you uh, slow it down and take it as easy as possible, if at all possible there. Uh, looking again, some fairly possibilities of good possibilities of some drier conditions in the next couple of days. So we see again, Again, a little bit less in the way of major problems coming through. Still got some problems into the end of this next week. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. Renee Walden, high winds in Middleton. Any reason to be concerned? Going to be a little breezy. Could be, again, some loose limbs being shaken free, but nothing in the way of anything involving severe limit winds, as in 55 miles per hour plus. So not seeing a lot of major concerns out there right now. Power outages around Mountain Home. Tracy Hawkins, moneymaker. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Michael Wilson, heavy rain with sustained wind over 40 miles an hour in East Chicago and gusts over 50 miles per hour. Looking like it's going to be pretty breezy out there uh, up around the Great Lakes. Thank you very much for that one at this point in time. Christy Hansel, Dorothy isn't in Kansas anymore. She's in Mississippi. No, it's definitely not up that direction with those winds up around from what I've heard about in and around uh, Topeka at this point in time. Thanks to everybody for the wind reports out there. do appreciate everybody checking in for tonight. Winds past about News Channel 3 at 10 through tomorrow morning will be around 10 to 15 miles per hour. That's going to be cold for the kids at the bus stop in the morning, so there will be wind chills out there in the 20s maybe even briefly into the teens. So these winds will be causing some problems into very early tomorrow. But as we go toward dismissal time for the kids, we'll be looking at less winds out there. Still a little breezy, though, so again, definitely want to make certain the kids are bundled up for right now. Rain chances basically gone as we go toward News Channel 3 at 10 on the late edition, but those winds coming in from the west-northwest are going to be quite breezy into the rest of the morning. Some clouds left over toward daybreak tomorrow morning, so we will see again a raw start to the day with some very low wind chills out there for right now. And looking again at this storm system clearing the area into tomorrow afternoon. So once again, uh, the winds out there will be dying down, but they are going to take a while to do so. And we'll continue to see that very breezy wind into around late tonight. That wind advisory that I just showed you goes until midnight tonight. And then things start to gradually stair-step downwards. But we still can see some breezy conditions into early tomorrow morning. Now lunchtime tomorrow and into early tomorrow afternoon, about the dismissal time for the kids. Temperatures will only make the lower to mid 40s at best. It's going to be a very chilly, big change in temperature start to the week. And as we go throughout the next several days, we'll be looking at some pretty chilly numbers out there. As we go into an award, into the rest of the uh, forecast tomorrow, again, temperatures by just after dinner time will be dropping close to freezing. So we will see, again, some chilly conditions out there for a while. Shanta, Shanta Colette, any snow coming? Not anytime soon at this point in time. So not really seeing a lot of problems there. Nancy Holden Crumley, windy in Senatobia. Thank you very much for that one, Sherry White, windy in Arlington, Tennessee. Uh, Justin Mitchell, bad weather for Memphis area, question mark. We basically are done with the uh, weather at this point in time. The rain is gone. No winter weather, no precipitation for us in that form, but the winds are going to continue to be breezy, howling around that storm system out there. Cassandra Rochelle Fowler, any snow coming through Blytheville, Arkansas? Doesn't look like it for right now. Matter of fact, things are going to be drying out into the Mid-South throughout the rest of the evening hours. Collierville, 48, west winds at 7, gust of 14. Ronnie Williams, thank you very much for that one at this point in time. Uh, Kim Bledsoe, easing breezy, an understatement. 
Uh, yeah, a little bit on the windy side out there, but uh, again, using semantics and variety to talk about what we've got out there uh, for the rest of the evening. Tomorrow, temperatures again starting off the 7 to 10 day forecast. Again, mid to lower 40s. That's it and that's all. Not seeing any changes whatsoever with the numbers into the first part of the week coming up. Numbers through the next few days will be in the mid to upper 40s only for highs as that cold air sticks around portions of the Mid-South area throughout the rest of the next couple of days. A few more clouds Wednesday evening. Next best chance of rainfall looks to be about Thursday afternoon. Temperatures heading up toward the end of the week and kind of a nice little surprise for this time of the year. As we go toward December, we can get some very cold weather and some winter weather. That's not going to be happening. We should be seeing temperatures above normal as we go into the first days of December starting off next weekend. So the temperatures will be, will be pleasant, but unfortunately as we go toward Friday night and into Saturday, a lot of outdoor activities, including the St. Jude Marathon going on next Saturday. We could be seeing some stormy conditions there. Way too early at this point in time to talk about anything involving severe weather, but that will be, again, something we keep an eye on. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 uh, through the rest of the next several days at this point in time. Next several days afterwards, as we go into the first full week of December, temperatures will cool off a little bit into the upper 40s to lower 50s. And chances of rain looks like they're not going to last much more than early next Monday or so. There are signs, again, once again, as we go past this into around the first, the end of the first full week of December, off this forecast a little farther away, we could be looking at a big downturn in temperatures, even colder than what we're seeing over the first few days of this last week of November. So stay tuned to News Channel 3. If that is the case, we'll let you know about that and keep you updated as we go throughout the next several days out there. So for the kids in the morning, we're talking about some pretty raw conditions out there. Temperatures, just the air temperatures, will be in the lower 30s. Combine those with a wind out of the northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Not the day to be standing around in a light jacket and shirt sleeve. So again, the coat tomorrow, everything bundled up to avoid the possibility of frostbite. Yes, we have to start talking about that again. And high temperatures by dismissal time. It will be sunny but it'll also be kind of breezy out there. So for the kids walking or bike riding home, it is going to be, again, a little bit breezy out there once again and some fairly chilly conditions uh, into and around the area by the end of the week. Debbie Chrisman, rainy on Friday, looks like it for right now, but not seeing... Uh, anything in the way of severe weather for the time being, and no winter weather at this point, so not looking at, like anything like that coming our direction. All right, good news for astronomy fans. Into tomorrow, we are about 17 hours and roughly 29 minutes until the touchdown of the InSight lander. It will be taking place in Elysium Planitia. If everything goes correctly, again, about noon tomorrow will be the touchdown mid-south time. If everything goes correctly, and it'll be coming down between the site where the Curiosity rover is and Viking 2, a little bit farther north from there. We'll be watching this carefully on News Channel 3. It's the latest mission to find out more about what's going on under the surface of the red planet by studying the core of the planet and listening and detecting Mars quakes. So hopefully everything goes well. Again, it's a kind of fraught with terror situation. The last seven minutes of the landing, we won't know that the probe has gotten down safely until about seven minutes afterwards, and then we'll hopefully get some really good news out there. More information, go to mars.nasa.gov slash insight, and we'll keep you updated on this on News Channel 3. Now, we're getting toward the holiday season. If you would like to request a telescope for the holidays as a gift from good old Santa Claus, or again, looking again at anything involving giving a telescope as a gift, but you don't know what to look for, technology, price, range, abilities, stuff like that, Memphis Astronomical Society has you covered. Coming up, not this Friday, but next Friday, their monthly meeting will be How to Buy Your First Telescope, presented by Freddie Diaz. And in the month of January, it'll be how to use your new telescope. You can bring the telescope and the directions to the meeting place at Christian Brothers University. That's on Central Avenue in Central Memphis. More information at Society of Memphis on Twitter 
or find out more at their website at memphisastro.org. Great opportunity to learn more about astronomy and some great people there to get you started in what could be an amazing hobby, especially for your kids or your grandkids or anybody else like that. Good opportunity to learn more about the universe and our solar system by looking through the eyepiece of a telescope. So again, like more information about this, again, check out my social media pages for more on that. More of my forecast coming up on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the rest of the evening and into very early tomorrow morning. Temperatures into tomorrow, again, will be dropping close to freezing and breezy conditions by the time the sun starts to come up. So please plan ahead for that, especially for the kids going to be making their way uh, out to school in the morning. So something to take a look at there. Uh, Mr. Jaybird Chambers, when is an ice storm coming? Not in the next 10 days, but thanks for asking. Doris Henson Markley, high winds in Collierville. Thank you very much. Paulette Morrow, 47 and windy in New Bern, Tennessee at this time. Uh, Natanya Maxwell, do kids need to stay home? That's your judgment call right there. It's doubtful we're going to be seeing anything in the way of anything involving uh, closed schools because of the temperatures tomorrow. So again, just make certain everybody's bundled up properly, dress in layers, make certain again that everybody is taken care of into tomorrow, make certain everything's taken care of there. Very cold into and around Greenland, one of the northernmost bases of the United States military, minus five at Thule Air Base, a wind chill of minus 60 degrees for, or, or minus 30 degrees right now, with winds out of the southeast at about 22 miles per hour. If you'd like to see more of this and also take a look at whether where the troops are around the rest of the world, if you have friends or loved ones out there, join me at about a quarter till nine on my Facebook page, Periscope and Twitter, and we'll take a look around the world at some new sites. Again, if you have not seen some of these, we've got some new places to take a look at. So if you'd like to take a look at more about whether where the troops are, it's our little salute to everybody wearing the uniform who could not make it home for Thanksgiving. And we'll do more of that as we head toward Christmas and the rest of the holidays out there. That'll wrap it up for the early edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We will be on a little bit late tonight, thanks to the NFL ran over by about a half an hour or so. So we'll be on somewhere about 10.33, somewhere in that area if you'd like to stay up and watch what goes on with news, weather, and sports. We'll have updates on that coming up again a little bit later this evening. Got any questions, comments, concerns, email me, austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to hear from you and get you updated. If there's something on here you'd like to see, more satellite, more climate data, more river information, whatever it is, let me know, and we'll see if we can add it to the mix so we can keep you coming back and watching more of our exclusive video weather blog here. Live and direct from downtown Memphis on what has been a very busy weather weekend for wrapping up the Thanksgiving holiday travel season. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more tonight on News Channel 3 at 10 on the Late Edition. And Todd Demers has your forecast bright and early tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Thanks for joining us tonight.